Did two black female teenagers just solve a 2,000 year old math problem? You're damn right they did. It's pretty amazing. Kelsia Johnson and Nakia Jackson of the St. Mary's Academy, a STEM school in New Orleans, Louisiana, Nolens, where they make the best red beans and rice, which I can't get in Indiana at all worth a crap, except Popeye's. So God bless you, Popeye's chicken, for that. These two girls operate on a level beyond what I comprehend. Let me let them tell you themselves what they figured out. Okay. So basically the Pythagorean theorem states that A squared plus B squared equals C squared so that the two sides of a triangle, an isosceles right triangle when squared equals the square of the hypotenuse. So that's basically the theorem. And what we did is we solved it using trigonometry. And it has been done in the past by other people, but the proofs have not really been trigonometric. They've been like algebraic or like calculus based, but this is really using like the trigonometric rules, like actually doing the, um, the ratios for like sine and tan. And we use trigonometry and the law of sines to prove Pythagoras in a way that has not been done before. For 2,000 years, we've been able to prove the Pythagorean theorem using algebra and other forms of math, but never trigonometry. And it was thought impossible up until about 10 years ago that trigonometry could be even used to prove this. Now, the problem with the Pythagorean theorem is it uses circ circular logic, much like a word proves a definition and a definition proves a word, meaning there's nothing else in existence that applies except that definition to that term. So that's the way we've always done the Pythagorean theorem when you find the hypotenuse of a triangle, that's the long side, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Well, they have done something now using trigonometry called a waffle cone, which will label the build off the triangle and using the sine angles, it starts to look like a waffle cone. Simple and genius. Now it's amazing because Occam's razor is defined as it's strip everything away until you get to the most basic or simple solution. And that's what these young genius minds did in just a matter of weeks, that nobody of any race or gender could do for 2,000 years. So please, they're just now getting attention for this. Please repost this, or I made the first five seconds of this video asking a very stark question so you can use it to stitch to tell your own story of Kalsia Johnson and Nakia Jackson, these two young students from New Orleans. Please, let's get them out there. The more notoriety they can get, the more fame, and the more credibility, the better the universities and the better the scholarships are going to come after them. So let's do everything we can to promote these two young minds and other minds like them. If you like this, please click the heart button. If you don't follow me, please do. And have an amazing week.